comic fam, we hit 50K. Let's keep it going with this invincible number one, Omni-Man Whatnot exclusive. Yo, congrats, Tom, and thank you to the comic fam. You guys showed up, you subscribed. We're gonna keep these milestone giveaways coming. All you gotta do is be subscribed to the channel, like the video, and comment below. Once we reach 55,000, Tom will pick a random video where we promoted this giveaway only and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a worldwide winner. Let's chat some expensive paper. Even more record breakers to discuss comic fam sales that are shattering the comic book marketplace. At the list at number 10, a Neil Adams classic cover, Batman 244. A brawl between Ra's al Ghul and Batman indeed takes place. Batman gets his ass kicked. Take a look at this panel. That's an ass shot. He even goes skiing and he makes out with Talia al Ghul. A lot going on in this issue for sure. The CGC 5.5 sold for just $51 way back in 2016. This most recent sale puts it up 194%, selling for $150. I can't stress this enough, comic fam. If these high sales, the Marvel blue chip leaders, the key giant sales are making you feel priced out of this marketplace, take a look at DC keys just like this one. At the list at number nine, we have Bart Kira issue number one. Jem, you have reviewed so much Akira on your channel I had to put this one on the list yeah man Akira is a classic manga and anime reviewed the manga reviewed the movie and I love the Simpsons this is like a match made in heaven we have a 96 page review project that's goal was to recreate with a substantial amount of artists who donate the artwork to the project to do a panel by panel retelling of Akira with Simpsons characters and situations I got to check this out, man. The cover looks great. A CGC 9.8 came to market. It sold for $500 back in February, so a year ago, up 50%, now selling for $750. Over 786 artists contributed five pages apiece to create this mammoth retelling of a classic story with Simpson Spice added to it, and you can read it all for free on Barkira.com. Next at the list at number eight, we have Journey into Mystery 84, the second appearance of Thor, the first appearance of Jane Foster, dare I say a double key? A double key, and what a great key for the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder, the first Marvel solo franchise to get a fourth movie. We had a 1.8 come to market. It sold for $395 back in 2020. It's up 122%, now selling for $875. If you can't afford 83, the first appearance of Thor, if you can't afford 85, the first appearance of Loki, grab the book in the middle that you can secure under a 2.0 for under a thousand dollars next at the list at number seven spongebob squarepants issue number two we got a cover that's inspired by the rat fink hot rod artwork by ed roth low census couch just 13 9.8s there and only 8930 copies total ordered by retailers low numbers on the census and order counts we have a really respected art style on the cover on a kid's book nonetheless and we know how that goes especially in high grade which makes this 9.8 make sense back in 2019 one sold for 165 dollars and that's up 352 percent now selling for 745 that's over a 500 dollar increase in as little as three years all right, enough of the kids stuff. Moving on to number six on the list, we have Daredevil issue 37, a classic battle between Daredevil and Doom. Jim, we were just chatting about classic key moments in comic books such as this one with last week's comic that made the hot 10 list, Submariner versus the Brotherhood of Evil in X-Men issue six. This one right here is more of the same. Members trying to secure moments that they likely will see on the screen. Daredevil versus Dr. Doom. We have Charlie Cox in the MCU officially. Dr. Doom is likely near. Yeah, it's one of those things where you know both characters are coming. Maybe you'll see them fight, and maybe that will make this book spike a little bit of a reach, but maybe somebody trying to get in on the ground floor. It's a CGC 9.4. It sold for $454 back in 2012. It's up 175% with this record-breaking sale of $1,250. Clearing the 1K marker, comic fam. If you like what we do, utilize code TOM101, support the show, and get yourself access to a free two-week subscription of the best comic app in existence. We source these 10 comics from a much larger list, the runners-up list on the app, that consists of over 30-plus comic books that shattered records. Next at the list, at number five, Detective Comics 108. We got a golden age Batman key. 
And these Golden Age Batman books have so many cool little key significances. This is the first cover appearance of the Bat Signal. Everything is cool when it first appeared in Batman comics. A CGC 2.5 sold for just $450 in 2020. Well, it's up 233% now, selling for $1,500. That's over a thousand dollars increase in as little as two years. Next at the list of number four, Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, the second appearance of our web slinger, the first meeting of Spider-Man and the first Marvel family, the Fantastic Four, as well as the first appearance of the Chameleon, the half brother of Craven, who is rumored to be in the upcoming Craven solo film. Yeah, this book has so much going for it. I mean, it's always been a coveted key. First solo title for Spider-Man. The second appearance of him. It's got one of those scenes that could play out in the MCU. Spider-Man and Fantastic Four meeting for the first time. And it has unused villains. Well, it has Chameleon, and then that ties into Kraven. So... A lot of potential here, which is why that 2.5 went from $10,500 as early as October to up 37% now, selling for $14,400. An increase of over $4,000, comic fam. Hot damn. And when you consider the heights Amazing Fantasy 15 has reached, I think that members are trying to go after ASM 1 with the hopes that they can get in on the ground floor praying to Thor that it has similar gains as the first appearance. Next at the list at number three, we have Bruce Banner's first appearance, the origin and first appearance of the Hulk with Incredible Hulk, issue number one. The first appearance of the Grey Hulk. He wouldn't become green until issue two. Also the first appearance of the supporting cast. You have Betty Ross, Rick Jones, her father, General Thunderbolt Ross, which seems like they could really be using more in the MCU. And we're talking about a 2.5 sale here as well. Sold for 16000 back in December. It's up 25% selling for twenty k. Another increase of $4,000 in as little as two months. The comic market be hot, Jem. What do you think? It's on fire. I can't even keep up with it. Number two on the list, Tales of Suspense, Toss, issue number 39, the first appearance of Iron Man. The debut of Iron Man's Model 1 armor, we have a 1.8 back in June going for $5,227, up 91%, now selling for the first time in comic history, an easy 10K. Man, the first appearance of Iron Man, essentially doubling up, becoming a five-figure book and a 1.8, that's amazing. Almost amazing as number one on the list. We had Spider-Man number one, but we got to have the first appearance. Amazing Fantasy 15, trickle-down effect, still affecting lower grades. September 2021, we had comic history made with a 9.6 selling for the highest in comic history of any comic book, not just this one, for $3.6 million, pushing this book on our list multiple times in multiple grades. And this week, we have a 5.0. Last selling back in August for $61,000, up 28%. All new high sale at $78,000. That's an increase of $17,000. Hot damn. With the future of Spider-Man movies looking brighter than ever, it makes sense that this key issue keeps performing. Reporting the health of the comic book marketplace every seven days. Hit the like, slap the subscribe, comment to enter to win our 55K milestone giveaway. And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Every single week, you can join us on the best new app to buy and sell collectibles. What not available for both Androids and iPhones. We do dollar start auctions that last as little as 60 seconds, 30 seconds, 15 seconds long. Come join the fun and take a look at these other two videos. We made them for you, comic fam, and have a great week.